To get started, I just added a background video along with some text to my timeline that I'd like to add a background to. Let's begin by selecting our text clip. Then hold down the shift key on your keyboard while pressing the up and down arrow keys to position the time head at the start of your text clip. With your text clip still selected, go up to Graphics, New Layer, Rectangle. Position your rectangle over the text clip and drag its edge to expand it. Then go over to Effect Controls for your text clip. Collapse all the different settings. Drag your shape layer above your text layer to set it behind your text. Then uncollapse the shape settings. Click the color next to fill to change your rectangle's color. Under Transform, reduce the opacity to make it translucent. OK, and there we have a nice looking background for our text. Now this method works well, but I'm going to show you another way to do it by deleting the shape's layer. Hold down the Shift key and use the arrow keys to position the time head at the start of your text. Click anywhere in the open space on your timeline to deselect your text and select the entire timeline panel. Then go back up to Graphics, New Layer, Rectangle. This method will create a new graphics layer above your text. Drag its end to match the length of your text. Now position the rectangle over your text layer and drag its edges to cover it. Drag your text layer above the graphics layer on your timeline to show your text. And I'm just going to move these down to track to get rid of that gap. Next, select your graphics layer and go over to Effect Controls. Now just change the color and opacity like before. OK, this looks great. I prefer the second method because it's easier to reuse this graphics layer. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.